Hello, everyone. So the money portion cut out for the weekly. So I um, am just going to turn this into another video and we're going to do this again. So if you watch the end of the weekly, it cut out so you can get the beginning of the message there. But just to remind you, we have abundance mindset and I'm going to read them again. And we have the power of prayer. So it says, if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you see feel think and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment and that is what you will experience the power of prayer says give this situation to god for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles heavens um, unlimited resources love and answers are awaiting your prayers be sure to act upon the divine guidance god gives to you in response to your prayers and i pulled some cards here we had and i just got to this pay your tithes and dues um i also got jackpot what also came out after that was lawsuit payout robbing robbing peter to pay paul so make sure that you're not borrowing excessively so you don't have enough to pay we have there's a thief in your pocket in acquiring real estate so let's take a look here. This is for the week ahead for Aries for their finances. And mind you, just a reminder, the overall energy in um, the weekly was the four of wands. So that could also be acquiring real estate. It could be an approval on a home. Um, or if you're renting, anything like that, you could be getting approved for relocating. You could be a real estate agent or a realtor and you're making you know an increase in your finances or sales. So see, I'm hearing the right purchase is being made. So let's see here. What is the overall energy for Aries and their finances for the week ahead? The world card. So there's some sort of success here. The world talks about an ending or a closure of a cycle, but it's for your best and it's in your best favor. And look at that, the sun at the bottom of the deck. Tell us any challenges this week for Aries. Queen of Pentacles. The only time I see the Queen of Pentacles as a challenge is that you may forget to take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself is not just like, you know, getting your hair and nails done, things like that. I mean, taking care of yourself as in putting savings to the side, um, paying your bills first. You know, that is definitely a form of self-care because it keeps you less stressed out. Um, taking care of your priorities. and But again, nurturing you too. Putting a little bit of money to the side to do some things that you like to do. Whatever you like to do as far as creativity wise. Um, maybe you like to have a spa day, you know, every once in a while. Maybe you like some sort of sport or activity that costs a little bit extra money. Put that money aside for yourself because that is what really fine tunes you and keeps you in the flow. Um, not everything could just be work, work, work and seriousness, you know? So let's see here. What's advice from spirit this week for Aries? The hangs man. There's some sort of major decision that you need to make um, that you may, it may require you to pause before you do it because there's, I've seen here with the devil at the bottom of the deck, there's some sort of negative influence. So you may not be seeing something clearly or seeing everything involved with it. So you're needing to think before you act on a situation. Tell me, tell me the outcome for Aries. Ooh, I'm seeing the nine of sword, knight of swords. So there may be a hasty decision. Tell me about the outcome for Aries. The magician, you getting what you need, okay? What you desire and what you're creating, what you're manifesting here. The magician is a great outcome because it means that you're able to create whatever you need, okay? And the Hierophant here. Let's clarify these messages. I don't see anything bad here this week when it comes to your finances. Um, nothing bad. Just making sure that you're looking at everything um, from every, any type of situation, any financial situation, you're looking at it from every angle. That's the only thing I'm seeing here with this hangman. Mm, I'm seeing the Ten of Swords now. Tell me about the World card. Six of Swords. Um, there's a situation that is ending. It's going to bring you more peace. Maybe, maybe you have had a, a little bit of a difficult situation when it comes to your finances. Some of you may be relocating. Tell me about the six of swords in the world card. I'm seeing peace though. Yeah. Seven of cups. There may have been some confusion or illusions in a situation and you're deciding to move on. 
Tell me about the world card and the Seven of Cups. Like, this is options. Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups. Now we're talking about money here. So this is, could be like, so some of you could be getting a new opportunity in work, a new business relationship, or a new work relationship here that's going to be better than something in the past that had a lot of illusions or confusion. Some of you, this could be about a loan as well, or um, it could be a home loan. It could be getting something like that where it just, the, the fine print was unclear and you're deciding to go with someone else and it's the best decision. It's the best decision that you can make. So however this applies for you this air, this week, Aries, if you have to move away from something that was unclear with the Seven of Cups here, it was like too many like red tape or it's just like the fine print wasn't clear and you feel like, you know, maybe I should look somewhere else. Look somewhere else. Because it's saying here when you move on from this confusing situation, you end up exactly where you need to be or in the relationship that you need to be in, whether that's financial or work-wise or whatnot. But tell me about the Queen of Pentacles here and the challenge. The judgment. There could be somebody coming back around who's wanting you to take care of them. The Hermit. From the Two of Swords. Yeah, so this is kind of like using your discernment. This is like the energy of using your discernment who if, about anybody who asks you for money this week. Okay. Um, tell me about this. Cause we do got that rob. Um, you do got that. There's a thief in your pocket. Tell me about this. Um, I'm going to Empress and the eight of cups. This is somebody that you've walked away from. It could be a job and you're making a decision to move away from this place because it's very draining and toxic. And it may have been draining you, not allowing you look at that 10 of wands, not allowing you to take care of yourself. And it could be a person where you have to pull your energy back away from, or they're coming back around asking to be around you or near you again. And you know, when this person was around you, you had financial difficulties or you struggled and you noticed it was only when this person was around, be mindful. That could be this hangman situation, needing to think before you act. Tell me about this page of wands. I feel like it's a friend or a message you're going to get. Seven of Wands, Spirit is saying to stand your ground. Whatever this is, Aries, it's all the same thing. There's something that's up coming to, it's like somebody's either going to ask you something, they're going to ask you something and you're needing to think about it, okay? Because it's not good for your energy. It's not good for your job. I don't know, it's something here that's not good for your job or your energy, maybe even your home. In the chariot, they're saying to move forward in a new direction. Tell us about the magician. The queen of wands. Wow. You're on fire this week, Aries. When it comes to your finances and what you ask for and what you're creating, with the death card here, like with the power of prayer and abundance, wow, abundance mindset, remember that your word is your wand. You have the power to create whole new situations, vibrations, energy, and I want to say tax brackets. Because look at this, the magician, the queen of wands, the death card, and the wheel of fortune. You have the power to create whatever you desire this week. And I feel like it's because of some action that you're taking or something that you're speaking even over yourself. Okay. This can change your situation tremendously. Let me clarify this wheel of fortune one time. And so, and again, Either way, because if you speak negatively under your, over yourself, it could change it. So there's something here about the energy being very potent this week. So be mindful how you speak. Queen of Cups, see? Speak over yourself in a very loving way, compassionate way. What do you want to have? What do you want to see yourself with? You know, what do you want to embody? This is like the type of, there's something very positive coming in. And this is all about communication. There is something about... um Ah, I lost my train of thought because that eight of wands threw me off. It's something coming towards you, Aries, that you are speaking into existence. And that was powerful. I just watched a video the other day on YouTube because I watch a lot of Law of Attraction videos. I want to say, I want to know if it was a Louisa Hayes video or something or someone like that. Um, but I, I just... I don't know, but I was, and the narrator was talking about how first you get into a very um, abundant, I mean, you get into a very, um, not abundant, gratitude. You get into a gratitude energy, right? You start speaking gratitude, speaking in forms of gratitude, and then 
you, and then you start speaking what you want to see, you know? So you spend like five or 10 minutes in gratitude and getting into, and then you point your wand, so to speak, or your word, or say what you say, what you want to say. And it's like magic. It's like magic. And that's what I'm getting here with this magician, this queen of wands, the death card and the will of fortune. It's almost like somebody needs to change how you speak about yourself. Okay. You need to be more compassionate about your situation, about what you want to see. What, what do you want to do? You have to, you have to change it. And I feel like in changing that, you're going to change your life. You're going to change your life. You're going to change some outcome for sure. And with the four of pentacles, you may have been in some sort of lack energy or holding back or, you know, kind of stuck. This is all about how you speak about yourself and your situation, though. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Take care. Bye.